Hello everyone. Welcome to Agile Tech Gear YouTube channel. Today we are going to see another video on Microsoft Azure. So today's topic is how to do file transfer from Azure CP HCP to Azure Storage Account. So today we are going to see what is storage account, what is FTP, SFTP, what is the key benefit of it, and then we can going to see the practical demonstration of how to do these things. So let's get started. What is storage account? A storage account is a, in Microsoft Azure is a unique entity that provides a secure and flop, flexible cloud based storage solution for various types of data such as file, log, table, queue, and virtual machine data. It acts as a central repository for data storage within the Azure ecosystem. So as name suggests storage account, we can store the data in the, in the cloud account. Actually, not basically on the physical hardware at your place, local at local things. Okay? The next point is what is SFTP FTP? SFTP stands for Secure File Transfer Protocol and FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. Are a network protocol used for transferring files between a client and a server over a network. SFTP is a encrypted secure version of FTP, providing additional data protection during file transfer. So earlier in previous old days we use FTP to transfer the file, but that is not a secure at that time actually. So the uh, latter they invented the SFTP, like secure file transfer. So over the network we can transfer a file securely with the protection. Okay. So what is the benefit? Key benefit of this? So we learn the fundamental of Azure storage and its role in the cloud ecosystem. We already see the storage account how to create previously as. But today we see the another way of storage account creation. In that, what we can see, we can see the how to use hierarchical naming convention, how to create, and how to enable the SFTP in the storage account to use it. So once you enable the storage account, then we are going to create one user to access that storage account. with the help of that credential. We can access that storage account over the SFTP network, and then we can transfer the file to that storage account with the help of it. Third party tool like uh, FileZilla, we, you know you know that the FileZilla is a uh, file transfer tool. Understanding the significance of SFTP and secure file transfer and how it completes Azure storage account. Right? Discover the benefit of leveraging storage account for long term data store and accessibility. Explore various use cases where this file transfer technique is crucial for business and development. Or overcome common challenges encountered during file transfer based practice to address them effectively. Okay, so practical, let's just to see the practical demonstration. I have mentioned some, some steps here, if you can see. Okay, so let's go directly jump to the Azure portal. So I will move to that portion. So this is the Azure portal where we have. So previously we created one storage account, but that is not uh, uh, helpful for the SFTP because in that, that account we, we, disabled, we are not enabled the SFTP. We can use the same account to enable the SFTP, but uh, we will go into create a new storage account. So let's get started. Click on the create resource, then search for storage account. You can search for the storage account or Azure storage account. It will come to the same thing like this. You need to click here, click on the create. You will need to provide a name. So the subscription and this was group I'll use the default one. Now I'm going to provide a name like I'll give SFTP storage storage account. So this is already taken. So I'll make SFTP SFTP storage account. Let's see if it work or not. Sorry, I think something is SFTP. FTP storage account. Okay, the rest thing is we will use as a default one. We are not going to change anything here. Let's click on advanced. In this advanced task, if you can see here, what we are talking about this. So to enable the SFTP option, we need to enable the hierarchical namespace. So what is hierarchical namespace? We will complement it by data link. Data lake storage generation to endpoint enable file and directory 
uh, semantic accelerate big data analysis next power load and everything so i need to be click here so once we click here we have option enable this so now we need to click on this so once you click on this so a local user feature will enable with the sftp create local user added added keys to access the sftp and for after storage account is created so once we create a storage account we need to create one user to access the this sftp okay rest everything we keep as it is we are not going to change anything here you will not hear nothing will change okay now click next now click on the review so the review will start hopefully the name will taken actually let's see yeah name is taken so review is applied now the period of is available so now we are going to click on that So the download is started. It take a couple of seconds to install actually or deploy. Let's say deploy. Once it is deployed, so we, we can able to access this storage account. See, it is done. So now we are clicking on the both option. So once you click on that, you can see your storage account is created. Right. So till here we know. Previously also I show you these things in the uh, previous video as well how to create storage account. So in this storage account you can see now here it is the SFTP is enabled. So once the SFTP is enabled, you can see that option appear as well. If you if you can watch the previous video, you you are not able to see that option here. Like if you come to the setting now we have option like SFTP. In the previous video, if you watch the previous video and go, uh, watch the till the setting option, so you cannot see here. So now what we are going to do, as the last point says, when you create a storage account, you need to create one user to access the SFTP, right? So now I am going to click on this SFTP. So here we need to create a one user who can access that SFTP over the uh, third-party tool client application to transfer the file. So now I'm going to click on the add local user. Here like I'll give a name as an admin, not other thing. So we can go into use the password as SSH password and the permission. So yeah, one more thing. Before I'm doing this, we need to do I'll just get back to this. I'll cancel it. I'll we'll do again that. So before that we need to create a container in the option so i'll click on the container we need to create one container we don't have a container right so we cannot give us access right to that so let me create one container so i'm going to use demo demo sftp container okay so lower this demo sftp okay so this is the what we have created there is no need to change anything here Okay, we'll see in the future. So I'll just create this container. So container is created. So inside this container we don't have anything, right? Okay. So we'll get back to the storage container now. So now we go back to the SFTP. Here we create one user. I'll give username as admin. Password authentication method is SSH password and container is container permission. We need to select that container for which container we enable this SFTP. Means the user to user which container they can access. So now we created one container like you can see demo SFTP as selected. Now what kind of permission we can provide a user to do this uh, to do the operation in this? Container. So I'll go here. So see, you can see the user have a read, write, list, delete, create. So whatever the file is there in this container, he can do any operation. So I give whole permission for now for the demo purposes. So he can do anything with that uh, with the folder in that. Okay. 
now home landing directory so that is the same nothing right demo f f t p home landing means is there any anything there right if you can see here like container slash directory sometimes what we do we create a folder inside the container so that's why it is asked but in our case we are not going to do going to do anything so i'll click on this okay okay so now i need to copy this password to copy of this password i'll open a notepad here ssh key okay i'll save here okay so now if you can see here we have admin which is the connection string and this is the ssh pass so now how to access this things okay so for that what we are going to do is so let me copy this as well connection string like this our username is add if you can see here we already have add this connection string okay so now we will do one thing we will check our server by the the client or not yes i have filed the client i'll open that client if you don't have you can install it and do that so let me quickly create one site manager i'll create one site that i am not going to use my existing one so i'll create a new one so i'll give as a name as a did you take demo as a tp okay i'll give name like this once you click here we created a site so it is by default selected so what we are going to do is we are going to do a sftp transfer right so you need to select the protocol here now you need to pass the host name so what is the host name that is save here in the file so this is the host name actually if you can see here connection string is the host name inside this connection string we have a host name as well so i'll copy this same thing i copy on the notepad as well and i paste here in the host so once you paste here in the host now you need to pass a username and password so what is our username our username is admin and the password is our ssh key so this is the key i need to copy and i need to paste here okay and i need to do okay So once I click OK, it is save actually. So now I need to click on this. So it will start connecting. See, it is asking. It is the port is trusted. Pass the all will trusted. So now with the help of that username and password, they it is successfully connected. Because inside that container we don't have a folder. That's why we are not able to see here, right? So now what we can do? We can transfer a file to this. This specific folder. So what we can do is we can directly select any file if we have. Let me do one thing quickly and select any file. Like see, I have one image file here, but not this one. I'll use some 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 demo files like this. Okay, I'll go here. I'll drag and drop here okay so once i drop here it is started see it is started to encrypting and then once it is it is encrypted it is starting to uploading so once it is uploaded it will show here oh i think i select a very big file that's why it is started uploading okay let it be not an issue so if you can see the upload is started and the file is uploading to this directory so once the file is here so we can go back to our storage account and we can see that file is just inside the uh, storage account so i'm going to use like time sorry actually i selected a very big file 
like that. So once once the file is pushed from here, so we can see on this storage account folder, and then there we can open that file and also see content inside that file is showing or not. So this is the whole process of SFTP. How we can do this thing? Okay. So let's wait for the second, just a couple of seconds. Waiting. It's almost done. Okay, so it is done. Now you can see the file is here, right? Successfully it is here. So if I go back to this and we click on the container. Once you click on the container, just go inside the demo SFTP and see. You can see the file is here. So when you click on that file and you go to the edit, so you can, sorry, the file size is very big, so you cannot do to the review. Okay, but but this file is having a data, so that's I'm sure. Let's go and we can do one thing quickly. We can let me open this very Yes, so we have some logs in that this file. So I'll do this. I'll quickly do go here and I'll just put this file. See, this is uploaded. Now we sorry, I'll quickly here and we can just need to refresh it. When we refresh, the file will show here. So when we click on this file, so this is text file, any file format you can post, uh, upload is not an issue. So when we click on that, so you can see the file, see, you can see the text inside the file, this is the text inside the file. So this is how you can do the uh, file transfer of SFTP2 as your storage account. So yeah, that's it from my end for this video. Until the next time, happy cloud computing. Thank you for joining us on this educational and technological adventure at Edutechia. We hope you enjoyed the content and gained valuable insights to help you on your learning journey. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest uploads. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas for future videos, we'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Remember, knowledge is power, and with EduTechGyan, you'll always be ahead in the game. Until next time, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep embracing the wonders of education and technology. Stay curious.